This is the market video for the week of February 9th, 2015. I am Michael Saul, also known as Tiny, and I will be leading you through the jungles of the charts. Real quick announcement, if you are seeing this before Sunday, February 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern, you can join Paul Schatz and I for our weekly Sunday night strategy session. The link will be below this video, and you can sign up. It is free to attend. You'll get to hear our take on the markets much more in-depth than this video goes, as well as go over some individual stocks, and also, we are there to answer all your questions. Also, if you stick with me to the end of this video, I will have a stock for you to watch for the coming week. So we're going to start off with the S&P 500. I'm still using IVV. Use the SPY. Use the SPX. It doesn't matter. It's all going to look the same. The SPY just looks a little weird because of this right here. So, I and I didn't adjust the line. So these are all the trend lines I'm putting on the IVV right now. It looks like it's in a consolidation and it tried to break out Friday, but it couldn't. It is over the moving averages here, but the moving averages are basically flat line. The 200 still has a nice slope to it here on the upside. So longer term, it looks like it's uh, still confirming that it, it is in an uptrend uh, or a strong uptrend, I guess. And if you just squish the chart, you definitely don't need any indicators to see that. So we still have not had a significant uh, close over uh, the significant level of 209, I believe is the number. But let me double check with you right here. I'm going to show you how I put the Fibonacci grin on because somebody actually asked, uh, asked me to do it. So I start from here, which is the highest point. I go down to the lowest point, and then it comes up here. Now these numbers may not be perfect, so what I do is I have 210.81. I can never do this more than one at a time, so I have to do them like this. So I adjust it to 210.81, and then this low is 199.27. So what I do is I right-click it, and I go into Data at Format Price, uh, Fibonacci Price re Retracement Lines. I go 199.27. There we go. Just want to check, make sure it's right. And that is the correct number then. And that's 208.34 is actually the 78.6. I don't know why I had said 209, but that's why I put the grid on. So we pushed up above it. So we pushed above it, like I said, excuse me for a second, but we couldn't close above it. So until we get the close above this 208.34, it is not suggestive that we are going all the way to test these highs or a new high. Once we get over that number, then, in my opinion, we will see a new high on the S&P 500. Diamonds look similar. I mean, we could run a fib grid on the diamonds too, but I don't put a lot of weight into the diamonds. I look at them just to see if there are any glaring divergences, and right now it's converging with the S&P 500. I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, cue off the S&P 500. Here's the Russell, which had been lagging for a while. You can see it broke down, held the 200 basically to the tick, and now looks like it wants to go to new highs, so that's good. Uh, the mid-caps were at all-time highs, and you can see they closed just below them. They traded higher on Friday, but closed below them. And the Qs, yeah, the Qs are, are lagging a little bit here. You can, you can actually draw this line out here if you want to adjust these lines. You could see here that the cues are lagging a little bit, but they don't look terrible. All right, I want to see if they can get above this past week's highs here and uh, see if they could get a little juice behind them and, and try to go for the multi-multi-year highs. Still a way to go for the all-time highs, but I still believe we're going to get there. Still believe we're getting to these all-time highs, and I think we're going to do it this year, but we'll see. All right, so what plan do I have for this coming week before I go over the sectors? I am going to, again, watch to see. It's basically this past week's highs, this week that just passed, because I'm doing this Friday night. So if we get above those highs, that's going to be the sign that the Russ, that the, uh, yeah, probably the Russell also, but the Russell and the S&P 500 and obviously the mid caps, because above the highs will, will be a new high. Uh, and the Dow will get to all-time highs, and the Qs could be on their way to a multi-multi-year high. 
I'm still bullish. Could this be a sign of rejection here? Yes, it could be. This could be, hey, you know what? We came up. We tagged this 78.6. We bro More importantly, we broke out of this small range. I know it looks a little sloppy here. Hang on a second. I will clean this up. Just do one. Da, da. Right, do it like this. All right. Uh, you could see we that we cleared the top of this, but we couldn't keep going. So, yeah, it is a sign that maybe we're in for more rotation down. I mean, right now we're trying to form some sort of consolidation. Let's see what it looks like on the weekly chart. Yeah, basically the same. All right, and here's the daily. So that's what we're looking at to see if it, we can get some rotation back down here. Uh, or if we could break out and move higher. Let's take a look at the sectors. Semiconductors look like they are in uh, a flag-like pattern. But again, they're lagging a bit. Okay, they're lagging a little bit here. We can look at some stocks. Clad Tanker is definitely getting hit a little bit. Uh, Intel, which was looking great. And we went, wanted to wait until it broke out. Instead, it broke to the downside. It is holding the 200-day moving average. What we want to do now is draw this consolidation on it, and we want to look for a pattern one way or the other out of this. It's real easy to say, oh, it's bullish, it's above the 200-day, but the fact that it's setting up at the 200-day moving average says that we have to wait and see to which way it's going to release. Let's look at a couple others. Let's look at like a Micron that looks bearish. ADI, it doesn't look too bad. Got the break off the 200-day. I don't like this candle, but it looks better than um, the other. The other it looks better than ADI, obviously. Maxim integrated looks nice. Really nice uptrend here since the middle of October 2014. Let's see where this is gonna head. Maybe come up to these highs here. All right, let's look at the banks. Yeah, banks are trying to put something in here. I mean, they, they confirmed this small W, and they are back over the moving averages. I don't like this this uh, wick here, but if we can get above it, that would be a good sign. Here's Bank of America so far. Stalled out at the 50-day. Here's JP Morgan. Reversal at the 200-day. Here's Citigroup. Watch the 200-day as well. Bank of New York. Watch the 50-day. Yeah, these can these uh, all look like the same type of candles with the rejection here after moving higher look at the broker dealer okay so the broker dealers this is exactly what I'm talking about right almost the same pattern except this bled a little through the 200 day but this is why the consolidation oh it's it's on a, a big down move it should continue no it shouldn't the consolidation says wait for a move either way and in this case it went to the upside Let's look at Morgan, also rejected its 50-day moving average. The big one, Goldman, hasn't gotten to the 50-day yet, but getting a bounce. I mean, in my opinion, these need rests, right? When you, you see these kind of patterns here, even with, like, the banks, I mean, this is a pretty sharp move to the upside. Usually, we just don't ramp it all the way up. We usually like to ebb and flow, like something like this, right? We went down, then we came up, we pause, and we kind of grind it up higher. All right, let's look at some of the glamour stocks. Apple. Looking okay. Didn't have a great day Friday. Uh, looks like it's in a wedge here. And it looks like it's overbought. So maybe it wants to pull back to the key moving averages. Uh, Amazon extended. Definitely extended. Looks great. Uh, it finally got off its butt after several months. Uh, you know, most of 2014. It's above that. But it's got a rest here. So I want to see a, a consolidation or even a small pullback. And watch that for an entry. Baidu got hit on Friday down 2.3%. Uh, watch the 200-day moving average. Google. Uh, Google, I mean, it's above the short-term moving averages, but it's still below the 200. So it may play a little ping-pong back and forth there. we got to watch. But, of course, always have to watch for it to release out of the pattern, not just guess. Uh, here's Netflix which is consolidating a bit here. All right, so we want to see, will Netflix pop up out of here, or will it break down, down to the downside? Priceline, yeah, more consolidating than anything here. Got to wait and see what that's going to do. Could be a W, could be a consolidation. Twitter with a really nice push up here. A really good week, 
again, overbought. I'd like to see a pause here to see if that pushes for real. If there's a pause and continuation, um, then you know it's for real. LinkedIn, like I said, one of the, the best looking out of the social media stocks, all time highs on Friday, and uh, but did form the doji, still up pretty nicely for the day. Look at stocks like Caterpillar. Looks like a bear flag to me. Wait for confirmation here, but this looks like uh, confirmation here. All right, let's look at the bonds. Yeah, bonds pulling back. See if they hold the 50-day moving average. Notes, same deal. See if they hold the 50-day moving average. Gold pulling back also. Looks like they held the 50-day moving average. All right, but they broke down out of this. Whatever I was drawing here wasn't really a good... A good channel after it broke down but now we want to see does the 50 day hold and do we rotate because if this 50 day gives way this whole thing could have been corrective and we could be going to lower prices once again silver closed just under the 50 day moving average don't consider this a break yet but if we get con um, confirmation it will be crude oil yeah and a nice little bounce on a squeeze but watch the 50 day sharp angle on that 50 day that holds, look for rotation back down or continuation of this trend back down. Let's look at the grains. Okay, wheat into the 20 EMA. If it holds, see if it rotates back down. Hits those October lows. Corn, similar. And soybeans also. Okay, they, they have these little pops up and then they have the, the consolidations here where the moves back into the moving averages. Sugar. Yeah, sugar looks like it wants to go lower. Coffee. Uh, coffee. So far, it's held this little pattern here, whether it's a double bottom or a, or a W. But, uh, you know, see if this if this holds here as resistance. Look for these lows to be taken out, new lows for 2015. All right. So as a review, and then I'm going to talk about that stock. Um, I want to see what we do here. We're in a range whether this is rejection and uh, now we're going to rotate back down or if we're going to uh, break out and take out last week's highs and go back up to new all-time highs, all right? At least on the S&P and the Russell and the Dow and the Qs would be multi-year highs. And the mid-caps. So the mid-caps take out last week's, uh, this past week's highs. They're in new high territory. Okay, so the stock I wanted to talk about is ANAC. It's Anacor Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. Full disclosure, I do not own any shares of Anacor Pharmaceuticals. I have not sent this out to any of my uh, email lists or anything like that. This is the first time talking about it, but uh, obviously if somebody sees this before you see it, just be aware that it is going on this video, okay? So ANAC had a nice breakout of this triangle and is now set up in a bull flag. You can see it's all-time highs. Okay, let's grab a monthly just to show you. So this has a lot of momentum. And if you are interested in finding out more about how to find stocks that are showing potential nice moves uh, from, you know, based on momentum, then leave a comment below in the uh, comment section of this video on YouTube. And I will be happy to, sorry about that, and I will happy to talk more about it and give you more information about how you can uh, discover ways to find stocks using free resources too. Um, how to find stocks that are ready to make moves exhibiting really um, nice, nice momentum and uh, looking to continue in that direction all right that's it i will talk to you in the daily email i will see you sunday night if you wish to listen to our strategy session and hear what paul and i have to say like i said bring your questions we're there to answer them uh, otherwise i will talk to you in next week's video have a great trading week